Time is now 10, 10, and the story of the day weather-wise is that Mother Nature has literally been making it rain and making it rain quite a bit. We have had flood advisories, especially in our northern zones, and we're starting to see some thunderstorm activity even in our far southeastern zones. This is just to the south and west of Bremont in extreme northern Robertson County, where we're starting to see a good bit of that heavy rain and lightning as well. A little bit of a cell starting to form as well, just to the east of Centerville. Now, this is along an outflow boundary out ahead of a cold front that once it passes through, it's going to result in some atmospheric recovery that'll be taking place as we head throughout the course of tonight and through the day tomorrow, which is going to lower our rain chances for tomorrow and give us a nice healthy period of a mix of sun and clouds. Now let's zoom out this out a little bit because we had quite the thunderstorm through portions of Temple that was not severe, although we did have severe warm storms in some of our far northern counties, such as portions of Brown County, such as portions of Bosque and Hill counties. And that Hill County storm, by the way, resulted in quite a bit of ponding on that roadways, especially as he headed north of Waco toward the 35 split and it did become non severe once it reached portions of Navarro County, but then that cell took a little bit of a weird turn. Look at that. That cell actually turned a little bit more to the south a little bit and then ended up passing right through the Fairfield area before crossing the Trinity River heading into the Palestine area as well. Places like Mahia also got drenched quite a bit. Our third street right outside of our studio. That little curb there looked pretty much like a kiddie pool play area at one of the temple pools. There was so much water on top of that and Leslie as well as Nikki Latarulo would perfectly attest to that. But like I said, a lot of this rain is starting to die down because a lot of that energy, a lot of that instability is starting to die down because the sun has now set and those temperatures are now cooler. Speaking of cooler, we're pretty much into those mid to upper 60s, especially in our far western counties west of the Colorado River, places like San Sab, Atlanta, checking in at 66 and 68. Same story for you guys over in Goldthwaite as well as Meridian Gatesville, you're still recovering kind of from that Friday storm. In fact, you're not getting a temperature reading because that Friday storm damaged your weather observers. So definitely something that caused issues there. Tonight, we're going to be in those mid to the upper 60s, heading to places like the 70s. As you get closer to the Brazos Valley, Bryan College Station checking in with 71 winds coming out of the south and then going to shift and become more northwesterly. There's that rain sliding on out as we head through the day on Tuesday, starting off at around 5 a.m. Could start off with a few light showers, especially in the Brazos Valley, but we're going to pretty much see a pretty much a healthy mix of sun and clouds. And thus, I'm going to give it an 8 on the Jordy meter with those skies slowly clearing from Kyle cloudy to a mix of sun and clouds could start off with a few isolated showers, but then once the atmosphere recovers, we have slight rain chances for the rest of the week. Temperatures could get to the upper 80s by this time next week. Leslie.